Well, welcome back to Base Camp WNZ. We are uh, here right now. As it says, I'm going to show you how to install one of these UV lights in an existing system. Um, here it is. We'll take you along. I'll show you some of the little tricks I've learned about not breaking the glass tube, how to put the light in, how to hook it all up. So let me go ahead and take you along for this build and show you how to install one. Well, I want to show you this assembly of the UV light or what all's involved in this thing. Now this UV light, of course you can get them off Amazon, everybody else, I get them from a supplier, but, but what you're after, this thing here is a 55 watt, it's a, a 110 volt, so it's made for the United States, this one is. It has a two holes on either end, a couple of water fittings. Now this light, now th this whole system can be mounted horizontal, vertical, or any degree, any way, shape, or form. It doesn't really matter. But let me show you um, basically how this thing goes together. It comes with one of these glass tubes. Looks like a long test tube. And you're just going to slide this ring over it. And they have a little, it's a little pyramid shaped thing. So you want it put on, right? But what you're going to do, slide this glass tube down here. Till it kind of pokes out the other end. But this is where I've had problems. Now, this thing has a flange on it right here that's going to take this seal and push it in tight. So you just let it stick, let the glass tube stick out a little bit long. Hold the tube on the other end just so it don't squirt out. And just hand tight. That's all it's got to be. This end of the tube sticks out. Do the same thing. Take another one of them. Line it up correctly. And put this end of the cap on. And it just has to be hand tight. That's it. You're not tightening it with pliers or anything else. And what happens, either way, it doesn't matter which one is the in or out. Water comes in here, goes between the glass tube and the metal frame, gets purified by the light bulb, and comes out the other end. Now, this one comes with one glass tube and three lights. That's another thing when you look at the price on these things. You see all different kind of prices. Some come with one light bulb. This light lasts one year. you got to replace it every year. The light will still be burning. It'll still be generating heat. You'll put your hand on this thing. It'll be warm, but it doesn't work. So every year you have to put a new light bulb in. This one comes with three light bulbs. So then you got basically three years of water purification. Do not touch the light bulb or anything with your bare hands with the oil in it. You slide it on. You got a four prong plug that hooks to the end of the light. Slide it in the glass tube, and then you slide the cap down on top of it. And that's it. That's all you got to do. But like I said, what I found is if you put this end of the cap on first and snug the other end up, I don't know if it's the glass tube sticking out. There's a rough spot, and it breaks the end of it. But put the opened end on first, screw that one in with a seal, and then put the other end on. And then it comes with these plastic clips. We're going to mount these on a board. I'll show you as, as when we got it mounted. You'll put these things on here and what that you'll see, you have to get this light out. And in my situation in this pump house, everything's in the way. So you can unclip it with this thing still hooked up the PEX pipe and get it out. I'll show you the mounting, but what I wanted to do, you'll see in there is Instead of coming out straight, I wanted to come out with a 90 degree. And then I had to get a brass 90 and then a, a fitting to go to PEX pipe. 
So what I've come up with, they don't make, this is a three quarter female pipe to three quarter pecs, but they don't make it in a 90 degree. At least the supplier can't get them or don't, I've never known them. So what this is, is a shire fitting that mounts in your wall. And this is where the pex pipe, the three quarter pex pipe comes up in, under in your wall and your shire pipe comes out and holds the shire nozzle. So that's how I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna put this thing on here and tighten it up. And we're gonna use it like this and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We are gonna put two wraps of Teflon type uh, tape on this thing and then pipe sealer and we'll get that done. I'll bring you back. So here it is. Teflon tape. Want to go the same direction you're going to screw the fitting on so it doesn't unwind and just two wraps and all this is doing is just making sure it's going to slide nice especially on PVC stuff. It tends to have a little plastic piece in there from molding. Put some of this pipe dope on it and then just thread the fitting on. Well, we're here. Now this spring here is below the house. So there's a pump that pumps it up to this tank, but it is so far away that the pressure is really bad. So we just put in one of those Harbor Freight pumps down here. I do have an extra volume tank, but what we're gonna do here, this is the line coming out, going to the house. So we're gonna cut the line back here, right in here to supply down to the bottom of the uh, UV light. And then the UV light will be up here. It'll come down and go into this end of the tube. So all we're really doing is just cutting this section of tube out. But to make it easier, because there's a piece of framing here, and one run down here, and this is just vinyl soffit that holds all the insulation in here. We're gonna mount a board a one by four or something just up the wall here to mount the light on so it gives it a better surface. Well, here we are. Like I said, I chopped off the old PVC pipe that came right here, put a 90 degree threaded fitting in, did use the, uh, the water wet and dry PVC cement. I've heard it called some other stuff, but it's the blue stuff because this inside this little house is moist and trying to wipe the water around. But it's on right now. There is no leaks with the Teflon tape and the pipe dope. And it's on there and where the three quarter um, male adapter screw into here, it's pipe tape and dope. Took the uh, PEX pipe with the stainless steel clamps and put it here. Mounted the board on the wall with the two plastic clips. That's the in and out. And like I said, the reason I like doing this, as you see from here to here, the shelf is right there. Be kind of hard to mount it out here in the middle. But what you can do with it this way, if I can do it one-handed, you can just pull it off the clips being its own pecs very gently pull it out here you'll miss the shelf everything else you can take the cap off slide the light bulb out in a year take another one out of the bag put it down in there hook the light up and then it just clips back in of course this one comes up there's the green light for the little uv light uh transformer and it plugs into the receptacle this pump house is, of course, mine, but I mean, I got plenty of them because we got all kind of heat tapes to plug in here to, in the wintertime, everything else. So here it is. It's done. It's hooked up. Uh, somewhere around 180 
$200, depending on how many light bulbs and tubes you get with it. Um, 55 amps is about it. You can get up a little bit higher without going 220 European type stuff. Um, but that's it. I can't say how long it takes to put it in. It takes me about 15, 20 minutes, but I kind of done a bunch of them before. But that's all the simpler it is. That's all you need. So, as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. If you ever need help or have questions, um, shoot me an email or respond here to YouTube. I'll answer them. For that, I do that for free. I can come out to your place, install, or do consults on water, power, solar, sewer work, everything else. I do charge for that. But as usual, like it, share it, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. I'll see you on the next one.